School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment, Brewer Redemption Center, and Pine Tree Solar. High School Basketball on Ticket TV also brought to you by Next Home Experience, Northeast Driving School, Dean's Detailing, Levec Business Solutions, Bangor Window Shade, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Novus Glass, Firehouse Subs, County Physical Therapy, Flash Me Main Photo Booths, Chase's Family Restaurant, Fairway Auto Sales, Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store, Comfort Shoes and More, Frank's Bake Shop, The Fitch Company, State Street Optics, Bangor Floral, and The Coach House Restaurant. High School Sports on Ticket TV also brought to you by Coastal Auto Parts, Hammond Lumber, Bangor Federal Credit Union, Creative Options, First National Bank, Midcoast Denture Design, and Miller's Workshop. Now let's get you out to the action on Ticket TV. Good afternoon once again, everybody, and welcome back to McKenzie Gymnasium here at Old Town High School, and welcome to High School Basketball on Ticket TV. This afternoon, another Class B North matchup between Holton and Old Town, this time on the girls' side as the Shire Towners take on the Coyotes. Old Town undefeated at 8-0. Holton comes in with a record of 3-3. Three and three. Jim Church along with Ernie Clark in the Levesque Business Solutions broadcast booth. Thanks for joining us here at 929theticket.com or on your ticket app. And this is the Northeast Driving School pregame show. Ernie, we saw the boys game, a victory for the Coyotes. They'll be going for the sweep here today. Meanwhile, the Shire Towner girls will be looking to give Old Town their first loss of the season. Yes, Old Town's been dominant uh, on the girls' side outscoring their first eight opponents by more than 30 points a game uh, and allowing just 29.9 oh, points wow. a contest. Yeah. So defense has been at their heart, although they have been scoring plenty of points too, averaging 63 uh, points per game. This is the Old, Old Town's sixth consecutive home game, according to the MPA Heel Points, uh, just wow. the way the schedule worked yeah. out. Started with three road games, six home games in a row. This is the last of the six in a row, then they'll go back on the road a little bit. They'll be Simple math, Ernie. In the second half, they're going to have six road games. It, just a question of whether they're consecutive in any fashion or not. That was the, that was the, that was the thing. Uh, Holton is uh, playing for the first time in the 2023, having played last on uh, New Year's Eve in a loss to uh, uh, Presque Isle, 40 to 29. This is the epitome of a 500 team. They're three and three on the season. In those six games, they have scored 253 points. They have allowed 251. Oh, wow. So there's ever so yeah. slightly over 500, That's I guess. Right. Yes. But they will be looking to uh, gain. They're actually they're actually fifth in the heel points in uh, Class B North. Old Town, obviously, the number one seed. But uh, uh, Holton has done a nice job uh, getting some heel points with some point worthy victories, and uh, they will look to improve upon their uh, fifth place standing this afternoon with an upset of the home standing Coyotes. Uh, yeah, first meeting of two between the two teams. They'll meet again on January 25th in the Shire Town, but there you see the standings right there. There's been some activity already uh, this afternoon. Caribou, the number two seed, improved to five and two with a 64 to 40 win over John Babs. The uh, number three seed, Washington Academy, was uh, was beaten and beaten soundly up in the county by Presque Isle, 63 to 31. And uh, Ellsworth, the four seed, they. Uh, improved their record to 7-2 and two with an 82-30 to 30 win over Mount View of Thorndike. So a lot of action in the Class B North ranks this afternoon already, and it continues here at McKenzie Gymnasium. High School Basketball on Ticket TV presented by Quirk Auto Group. Quirk Auto Group is your local boss plow dealer. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. All right, going to take a break here in the Northeast Driving School pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the rosters. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV.
the day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. When it comes to repairing or replacing your windshield, Novus is the clear choice in glass repair. Locally owned and operated at 499 Hammond Street, we offer free mobile service in the greater Bangor area, as well as shuttle service during bad weather. We can come to your home, workplace, or anywhere you are. Novus is a preferred service provider by all insurance companies, and we can cover up to $100 of your insurance deductible. Whether it's repairing or replacing your windshield, door glass, mirror, or your rear window glass, you can count on Novus to be where you are when you need us the most. Call Novus today. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. Welcome back to McKenzie Gymnasium here at Old Town High School and the Northeast Driving School pregame show. Great to have you with us here for this high school basketball contest on Ticket TV. Holton girls taking on the Old Town girls. And let's take a look at the Shires roster as they head into this matchup against the undefeated Old Town Coyotes. Clyde Warman, the head coach. Yes, sir. Just a couple of seniors on the roster. Double the number of freshmen. Four freshmen compared to just two seniors. No sophomores on the roster. I have a theory on that. It has to do with COVID-19, the mm -hmm. fact that those kids probably didn't get to play much as middle schoolers a couple of years ago. But a healthy number of juniors, certainly. Uh, six, including leading scorer Amelia Kalman, who is averaging around 10 points a game. All right, now we'll take a look at Coach Heather Richards' squad. And they are uh, equal, uh, almost as young. Two seniors on this squad, uh, five-member junior class. They do have one sophomore and, uh, and three freshmen, but they're getting production out of all those classes, uh, led by uh, Sage Evans, 18 and a half points, 10 rebounds per game, shooting 57.4% from the field, the junior forward for the Coyotes. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Greenway Equipment Sales. How will you make the most of your land? Nothing runs like a deer in Bangor and Ellsworth and at GreenwayEquipment.com. We'll take another timeout here in the Northeast Driving School pregame show. Coming up, we'll take a look at the program histories. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. From the land to the sea. Chase's Family Restaurant is the place to be. Are you looking for a place to unwind after a long day? Then come check out our Hideaway Lounge. With a bar that's both upbeat and laid back. And it's the perfect atmosphere for anyone who wants to unwind after work. Or kick it up for the weekend with daily drink specials and a full dinner menu. You can fill up on a good time any night of the week. Thank you for being a part of our family. Here at Chase's Family Restaurant. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. You know, we can go into a room and have absolutely nothing in there, nothing on the windows, no color, no character, no tone to a room. That's, I think, where we're strongest, is being able to help someone envision what's going to go in that window. And we leave, it's totally transformed into something that the customer wants it to be. We've often been told we make a room look better just by leaving it. <laughs> I'm Phil Levesque. 
president of Lebec Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to business. When buying a used vehicle, the last thing you want is to end up here in a few months. At Downey's Toyota, we get that. When you buy a Toyota certified used vehicle, you get peace of mind knowing that your vehicle has gone through a rigorous inspection. You also get comprehensive and powertrain warranties, a Carfax history report, and seven years of roadside assistance. Plus, qualified buyers get low new car financing rates. As much as we'd like to keep these folks busy, we'd rather not see you back here right away. All roads lead to Down East for Toyota certified used vehicles on Wilson Street in Brewer. Back here at McKenzie Gymnasium at Old Town High School. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Brewer Redemption Center, conveniently located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind Parity Shop and Save. Brewer Redemption Center, efficient, clean, offers excellent parking at 391 North Main Street in Brewer. Let's take a look at the program histories. Ernie, we'll start with uh, Holton Shire Towners. Yes, Holton uh, state champions in 2015 in Class C, as well as in 1982. Uh, they actually had a, a great history back in the day, back in the, uh, the uh, 70s and 80s, and uh, not bad lately, 2017, 2018. Uh, undefeated and uh, reached the state championship in Class B uh, before being defeated and uh, coming off a slightly over 500 season last year and they're at 500 at 3-3 three and three this year. And now the Old Town Coyotes program history. Yes, Class A state runners up in 1980, 17-1 a year ago during the regular season. Uh, got knocked off by Herman in the playoffs and before that a, 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 a solid 2019-2020 season as well. So Heather Richards, the Coyotes coach, has her team in a good place right now. Certainly uh, off to an eight-no start this year. All right, our broadcast uh, here this afternoon, presented by Pine Tree Solar. Pine Tree Solar, a local solar company dedicated to helping Maine make the switch to solar energy. Feel good about saving money and saving the planet. Go green while saving green with Pine Tree Solar. All right, we're going to take another timeout. When we come back, we'll get Ernie's keys to the game and the starting lineups and, of course, the opening tip. This is high school girls basketball on Ticket TV. Fast, friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs, we make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs, enjoy more subs, save more lives. Visit 920 Stillwater Avenue. What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Main. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Main is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Main Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Main has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Main photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at FlashMeMain.com. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-4324 or visit them online at countypt.com. 
Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction. They provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Gas prices, groceries, the cost of living is increasing. In this winter, so are home heating expenses. But the team at Bangor Federal takes some pressure off you and your family with our home heating assistance loan. With terms as low as 4.75% APR over 12 months and a max bar limit of $5,000, fill your oil tank, pay off that heat pump, or buy that extra pallet of wood pellets. For additional details and terms, contact our lending team at 947-0374 or visit our website, bangorfederal.com. Bangor Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Back here in Old Town, Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV team. And Ernie, give us some keys to the game, then we'll get the starting lineups. Well, for Holton, they've got to deal with Sage Evans. He's very strong from the baseline into the lane, from the free throw line into the paint. Uh, she's a 20-point scorer, and uh, Holton only averaging a little over 40, so they've got to kind of contain her and just do a, a good job defensively. As for Old Town, just continue to do what you've been doing the first nine games. It's led you to uh, dominate all the opposition. Old Town off the tip. Almost had two there. Taylor Loring, the freshman, couldn't get it to go. But in the end, the Coyotes come away with two points. Michaela Emerson with the basket on the second chance opportunity. Did a game here earlier this year. Michaela Emerson, six straight threes. Holton with it in the half court and some contact out top. And this one's going to go against the Coyotes and Kayla Loring, Taylor Loring, excuse me. Yeah, she's a freshman who's had a great impact so far this season. 11 and a half points, 3.0 uh, steals per game, shooting 79% from the free throw line. So coming in as a first year player, she's doing a lot of good things. Uh, close call on that player control or not player control foul turned out to be a block. Into the lane by Amelia Kalnan. It's lost there. This is Sage Evans with the basketball, joined by Michaela Emerson, also out there. Alexis DeGrasse. As the ball goes inside to Sage Evans, can't hit the shot. DeGrasse on the weak side, comes away with it. Senior Gabrielle Cody out there. And they're joined by Taylor Loring, the freshman. That's the starting five for Heather Richards. Starting lineups brought to you by Acadia Federal Credit Union. Ernie, I'll have you track down the uh, Shire Towner starting five. For the Shire Towners. Amelia Callen, number 11, a junior guard. Gabby Gentle, number 15, a junior guard. Drew Warman, number 22, a senior guard. Emma Swallow, number 24, a senior forward, and Caitlin Kenny, number 25, a junior forward. Two nothing Coyotes, about a minute and a half into this one. Warman being harassed in backcourt there by DeGrasse, finally into the forecourt. Holton trying to settle things in here, and that's gonna be a walk. So again, intense, high energy, Tenacious defense causing a turnover right there, Ernie. Yeah, making the uh, Shires there. Tired just bringing the ball up to court. A lot of work involved in that. And second turnover of the game against Holton here in the early going. And that ball's going to be off the Shires out of bounds. The defense Holt. by Drew Warman there on the shot block by Cody. Going to be Cody going up there, having her shot swatted away here's a long three put up by Alexis DeGrasse five nothing Coyotes and now the ball eventually gets to the baseline and there's DeGrasse with the hands again she picks up the steal Holton retreating Cody dribbles it out top a handoff here to Michaela Emerson She's guarded by Calnan. 
Emerson can't find enough room. Does find a teammate open on the wing. Now the pass inside and the lefty shot there by Cody is good. 7-0 and we got a timeout here and we will step aside. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction. They provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Gas prices, groceries, the cost of living is increasing. And this winter, so are home heating expenses. But the team at Bangor Federal takes some pressure off you and your family with our home heating assistance loan. With terms as low as 4.75% APR over 12 months and a max bar limit of $5,000, fill your oil tank, pay off that heat pump, or buy that extra pallet of wood pellets. For additional details and terms, contact our lending team at 947-0374 or visit our website, bangorfederal.com. Bangor Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Back here in Old Town, 7-0. Coyotes with the lead here early in this one. Seeking their ninth consecutive win to start the 22-23 season. And another turnover there by Holton. Travel call. Suffocating player to player defense here. Pass over and an effort to get by the defender. A little too quick off the step before the dribble. Turnover number four. Now it's the Coyotes in the half court. Cody, Gabby stops, pops, and can't hit that one. Offensive rebound, though, for the Coyotes. Bounce pass, Coy uh, pardon me, Cody was heading to the hole, but it goes off her out of bounds. She thought that Holton may have knocked that one out of bounds. Good cut there by Gabby. Here's Kalman trying to get a shot off. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Old Town. Kalman averaging 10 points, 3.7 steals, 4.2 rebounds a game to lead. Holton, a Warman, Drew Warman, averaging 9 points and 5.5 and rebounds a game. And we got a foul here. It's going to go against Cody, C O D Y, the last name of Gabby. Good execution there by Holton as the ball came into Emma Swallow, senior forward, and she went straight up after receiving the pass, drew the foul, and now gets her team on the board with a free throw. And she's got the second one. Two for two at the line for Swallow. 7-2 score now after the made free throw. Holton getting into some Pressure action here, but Michaela Emerson tried to reverse that one up off the window a little too hard. Very tough angle there for Michaela, but an excellent effort. Swallow open for three, and she's got it. So Emma Swallow in the last 20 seconds or so with five points. Yeah, they only gave her two on that one, but I tend to agree with you that she was behind the line. I'm like, well, and at the other end, Sage Evans. Because I was actually, sometimes I get caught not looking at the toes, but I was staring at the yeah, toes I was, there. I was too. There was a couple of inches. Ooh. And a shot up there with the left hand. No good. Drew Warman, senior for the Shire Towners. Lob pass inside. It's going to be off the fingertips on the right hand of Cody. A couple of those have gone awry. Here's Holton at work, pull up from 14. That rolls off, no good. It's one shot there for the Shires, now they Post up Evans down low, and Sage, outstanding athlete, goes up for the shot, and she'll draw the foul. That foul is going to go against Caitlin Kenny. Yep. 
fakes the spin inside, goes to the baseline, gets around, but uh, foul was called, and Evans will have to earn those points at the free throw line. Free throw is good. Makes it 10 for Coyotes. Second one is up, and also good. 11 for now Old Town. Something about the internet here at Old Town. We seem to always run into one snafu, and we're having an issue with our scoreboard here, which we are working on. As we approach the three minute mark here in the first quarter. Oh, nice cut to the hole there by oh, Warman well. coming over, trying to block the shot, but just a half second too late is Gabby Cody, and she's going to pick up her second. Yeah, she may have to sit there, but she ensured the, <laughs> the basket didn't go in, and so uh, Warman, Drew Warman, Shire's second leading scorer, will head to the line looking for her first points of the night. Danica Brown, number 40, into the game for Old Town, replacing Cody. Warman hits the free throw, so she is perfect at the line, or pardon me, two for two at the line on that trip. One, two, two, trap. Evans out high, deals it left to DeGrasse. Emerson comes to the basketball, now zips it back to Alexis, three ball. Kind of a sidewinding shot there off the back of the rim, no good. And in the rebounding action, a foul against the Coyotes. Yeah, good box out by Gabby Gentle, number 15, to pick up the foul on Taylor Loring, who also, had, also has two fouls. She's going to take a seat. Have a number 32, do I? Two and a half level. Oh, spin move there by Warman. Lost her footing. And that'll be a travel. Danica Brown looked at the official. John Champions out. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Not me. Elizabeth Magoon, number 20, in for uh, Old Town replacing Loring. Skip pass, Emerson launches a three. And that's a little off to the right. And a good job there by Holton with the rebound and a foul in backcourt near midcourt. It's gonna go against DeGrasse for the Coyotes. First on DeGrasse, fifth on the team. Holton with just one foul here, six minutes into the contest. And DeGrasse getting a piece of the arm there in the attempt to get out that basketball. Alman to Warman. Swallow had it briefly. Now Warman. This is Camille Calman. And the shot by Swallow for two. A little too strong. And tracking down the rebound, Emerson. Quickly up court she goes. Here's a shot put up by McCoon and a beauty. Wow. Nice use of the left hand there. And a soft kiss off the window. At the other oh. end, another good looking left handed shot. Amelia Kalnan. Quick release on wow. that one. Needed to be as she was going into the trees. Out top, Brown. DeGrasse surveys the situation, directs a little traffic with her head. This is Emerson holding the basketball high, makes a move underneath the basket and gets bumped on the way by Warman. Hold defensively doing a pretty good job of sagging things back in against Sage Evans, but there comes Emerson around looking for a lane and gets blocked out of the play by Warman. Pass comes in to DeGrasse. Thought very seriously about the three there, but put it to the floor. Evans on the wing. Magoon, now they whip it into the corner. 
trying to get the ball inside to Evans, but a nice job by Holton preventing that. A miss by Old Town, but they keep it alive. Brown dives into the paint, misses the shot. And it's Swallow with the defensive board for the Shires. Surge up the left side by Warman. Now into the paint. Deals it to Swallow. Two on the way, and it's no good. And swooping in for the rebound is Sage Evans. Emerson again, that long pass up court. This one is deflected out of bounds. Ten seconds left in the quarter as uh, Old Town inbounds from the right wing here. This is DeGrasse in the middle of the lane. Out to Evans, and Sage Evans will knock down a two. And that will do it for the first quarter. At the end of one, it is Old Town 15, Holton 8. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Nothing runs like a deer. Whether you have a lawn to mow, a driveway to plow, or a garden to till, our customers know you can't beat the quality and reliability of a John Deere. And right now at Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a great offer for you. Get 0% APR fixed rate financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor with a six-year powertrain warranty. For more offers, go to GreenwayEquipment.com. See the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth, and Bangor. Back here in Old Town, 15 to eight Coyotes. They have the basketball first here in the second quarter. After a miss there by Old Town, a tie up, and it's gonna be Holton basketball. Arrow giving it to the Shires. Shot put up here by Amelia Kalman. It's gonna come up. Yeah. Shy of the mark goes directly out of bounds. No, no, they're going to say partially blocked. Partially blocked by Alexi DeGrasse there at the free throw line. And now we're going to have a timeout, Old Town. All right, we will keep it right here. Foul. Churchill, Ernie Clark, Alex Mooney directing the broadcast here on this late afternoon into the evening. Third quarter score from Farmington, Brewer Girls 37, Mount Blue 14. Oh. We're looking for its third win of the season on the girls' side. A good one for the Witches to get on the road. Boys game right after. Yeah, Brewer and Mount Blue's not a bad team. Brewer's been rolling over everybody in Class A North. Uh, they defeated Mount Blue uh, on the boys' side 64 to 32 down at the Augusta Civic Center in late December. Uh, but uh, folks are thinking Mount Blue will be one of the uh, primary challengers to the Witches later on in the season, so we'll see how they do the second time around. Bangor window shade timeout called by Heather Richards. We'll send back in Taylor Loring, the freshman. With two fouls. The grass out of the ball game. Loring in there with Danica Brown, Sage Evans. Also Elizabeth Magoon and Michaela Emerson. Ball on the floor again, another tie up. And this time, it'll go in the direction of the Coyotes. The anticipation by Taylor Loring just back in the game, recognizing where the pass was headed and get to the ground first and uh, force the tie up. Evans with the basketball for the Coyotes. This is Magoon. Loring turns, fires, and hits. 
She was ready to shoot that one, Ernie. Yeah, she'd been sitting on the bench for a minute or two, and she wanted to get back into the action. That was a deep three off the pass from Magoon. And Warman did a nice job getting deep into that lane, but lost her footing at the very end, tried to deliver the basketball to a teammate, but the shuffle came before the release. Good job, diagonal passing to uh, beat the pressure. And then Holton drops back into man-to-man. -man. Now Magoon a shuffle. Unforced error there. She was looking for somebody to pass to and couldn't spot anybody open. I'll match your shuffle. Yes. Dueling shuffles. There's Amelia Calnan. Swallow. Her pass deflected by Evans. Loring up the left side. Crosses over. Good defense there by Warman, and she takes it away. Swallow, middle of the floor. Ahead to Gabby Gentle, left-handed shot up and over the basket. And coming away with it on the other side is Loring for Old Town. Emerson. Magoon bounces it on the baseline to Brown. Now they look inside for Evans. She's got great position and a nice feed there from Danica Brown. Yeah, nice cut along the baseline by Evans to get open and then good patience by Brown not to try to force anything sooner than something opening up. Swallow spots up for two, and that's off the side of the rim, and then the backboard. Old Town holding the Shires to one shot. Brown not quite ready for that pass. Nice job by Danica to come up with it. Now the ball is on the floor, reaching in Holton, and they'll tie her up. And it's going to be Holton basketball. Holton playing decent defense, uh, really. I mean, uh, Old Town has 20 points here, five and a half left in the uh, second quarter. The problem for the Shires have been scoring the basketball against an Old Town defense that allows less than 30 points a game. And that one rolls off. Coach Warman thought there was a foul against Old Town. And now getting free down low and putting it home is Caitlin Kenny. Long pass up court, and it's a little too tall for Sage Evans. Could not reel it in. Turnover, Old Town. Magoon is going to head to the Old Town bench. Alexis DeGrass back into the ball game for Coach Richards. Almost lost it. They get it back. Lily Brewer bounces it out top. Swallow sends a three ball up off. No good. But there for the follow is Lily Brewer. Good work on the offensive glass there by the Shires. Just into the game. Brewer. Loring steps into a three. She's got another one. Boy, good looking freshman player. Twenty-three, twelve. Holton trying to hang in here. Get to the halftime break. With the deficit in single digits. Think they're going to turn it over again. Here's the grass trying to split the defense. Ball heads into the corner. Loring comes up with it. Dishes to the cutting Cody. We can't finish. This is Kenny, and she lost it. Ninth turnover of the game against Holton. Need to keep those to a minimum in order to cut into this deficit. Cody looked at the rim, not there for her, at least for the moment. The grass probing, now bounces it inside to Cody. Nice high-low action there from the middle of the lane. Cody found Evans, who was cutting to the hoop. Yeah, real nice extra pass here. Cody probably had the shot herself here, but uh, this is after the action as Evans tries to go after an offensive rebound and gets it. There you go. She is a force. Ten points for her this evening. 
or this afternoon. Oh, sees parted there for Lily Brewer, and she said, why not? She's done a nice job since coming into the game. It gets a offensive rebounding basket, and that time just a wide open lane. Grass pulls up. That one is a little too hard off the back of the rim. Bolton trying to get that deficit down under 10 of the basket here. Warman at the point. Good defense there by DeGrass. Warman forcing the issue, some contact. Oh, oh we, got a, we got a, uh, <laughs> we got a dis disagreement or discussion. Yeah, there's two different angles and two different opinions. Well, they're going to say it's going to be a play of control foul on number 22, Drew Warman of Holton. And they're going to say it was the lean in. Yeah. We saw one official elbow the other there to indicate the type of foul it was. And I don't know if the other official necessarily liked it, but on we play. Second foul on Warman. And again, Old Town inside to Evans. She is taking advantage of her size and her athleticism down low as we take another look here. Yeah. And a good job by her teammates to find her. Yeah, here's Cody. You watch her cut through to get underneath the basket. The defender in front of her didn't realize Evans was behind her. And uh, by the time she figured it out, it was too late. The ball was in Evans' hand, and she scores again. Yeah, she uh, presented the target, and Cody hit her right there in stride. 27 to 14 our score with 218 up on the clock here at Old Town High School. Another boys score from the Big East this afternoon if I can find it. Ellsworth remain undefeated. Number one team in the Class B North boys ranks undefeated at 9-0 now with a 73-49 non-conference victory over Mountain View of Thorndike. And of course, in the first game of this doubleheader, Old Town 74, Holton 42. Take there by Holton, no good by Calnan. Warman drives, flings it up there, no good. Put back will go, it's Lily Brewer. 27-16, Coyotes. 150 on the clock here at McKenzie Gymnasium. Emerson looking inside. Evans comes to the basketball, ends up on the baseline. Now she'll travel. I just thought she had a one-on-one -on -one situation, and then the help defense came from the baseline. Watched Warman come over and then force the extra step. Calnan. Kenny. Old Town takes it away from her. Danica Brown on the run. Magoon. DeGrasse. Evans will try another three. This one is too strong. And the rebound to Warman. Warman the push. Coaching one minute left here in this first half. She can't hit the layup. Offensive rebound again by Holton. They keep it alive. Warman tips it out. Kalnan will try a shot. That's off the front of the iron. No good, but she follows the shot, scoops it up, and she's got two. Great effort in that possession by Holton. They have three or four offensive yeah. rebounds. You get three offensive rebounds, four shots in the possession, and finally Kalnan gets one to uh, drop after she rebounds her own miss. Magoon will hit one from long range. Elizabeth Magoon getting into the act. She's just a sophomore. Five points off the bench for the Coyotes. Calnan has it roll off. Tipped around. It's going to be off the Coyotes. Holton basketball. 23.1 on the clock here at McKenzie. 30 to 18. Old Town on top. Ball 
welcomes in to Amelia Kalnan. Takes it to the right side. Back to Kenny. Her pass is deflected. Brewer comes up with it. And we got a block here against Old Town. It's going to be their sixth team foul. And the first on Michaela Emerson. 10.1 seconds left in the half. Six seconds. Kalnan tried to get a floater off. It was blocked. Now Evans heaves one towards the other end. Comes up well short. And that's going to do it for second quarter action here at Old Town High School. At the end of two quarters, Coyotes 30, Shires 18. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Fast, friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Nothing runs like a deer. Whether you have a lawn to mow, a driveway to plow, or a garden to till, our customers know you can't beat the quality and reliability of a John Deere. And right now at Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a great offer for you. Get 0% APR fixed rate financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor with a six-year powertrain warranty. For more offers, go to GreenwayEquipment.com. See the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth, and Bangor. Fast, friendly honest and clean. Counted right in front of you, you won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. When you've got class, you wear Carhartt. And the perfect gifts for trendy students are at Miller's Workshop. Give them what they really want. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. Coastal Auto Parts proudly supports education for the skilled trades. These parents agree that allowing their children to explore trade opportunities at Hancock County Technical Center was a good move. With our son, we saw the most difference almost like a light bulb being turned on. And my daughter, because of her experience here at HCTC, she knows what she wants to do. She's gotten to try it. I feel like that's gonna set her up for success. 
Coastal Auto Parts, owned and operated by a Maine family. That Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. Creative Options, where it's all about choice. At Midco Central Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures, as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all, make you happy. At Midco Denture Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Denture Design, because everyone deserves to have an awesome- Your guy is a working man. He lives in his car hearts. The perfect holiday gifts for him are at Miller's Workshop. Give him what he really wants. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. This winter, you have a choice for moving snow out of your way. There's this or this, or you could go with this. You make the call to Doors Equipment in Bangor, of course. Doors Equipment has the Kubota tractor and attachment to make that white stuff disappear. Quality, innovation, and easy to use design. That's a Kubota. The doors are open for Kubota and Doors Equipment. Make them orange with envy on Outer Hammond Street, Bangor. Welcome back to McKenzie Gymnasium, Old Town High School, home of the Coyotes. And a good first half for Old Town as they seek to go to 9-0 on the season. They lead Holton 30-18. Ernie, let's take a look at some of the first half highlights here between these two Big East teams. Here we go. Nice pass inside to Grass to might have been Michaela Emerson. Emerson. Yep. Indeed it was. 14. Looking for that one on that beautiful number. Here comes Holton trying to hang around here. Amelia Kalnan drives into the heart of the uh, Old Town defense and the Coyotes come away with a steal. It's an inbounds pass to DeGrasse over on the right wing. Plenty of time to uh, set up the three-pointer and bang, it goes. Again, back to the defense for Old Town. Kick out to number 24, Emma Swallow. And she buries the long shot. We thought it was a three, but it was scored a two. Nice ball move it there. Taylor Loring to uh, Sage Evans for the finish. Again, here's another transition play. Emerson with a long lead pass to uh, this Magoon. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Magoon came off the bench to have a nice first half. Back at it's Drew Warman now driving the lane. Scoops up a uh, right-handed shot. Rebound there by Lily Burrow came off the bench and had a six-point second quarter. That time couldn't get it to go, but the ball goes back to Amelia Kalman for three. Getting opportunities are the tri is Calden again getting her offensive rebound, going hard to the glass and gets that one to drop to cut it to 27 to 18. Here's Magoon again. We mentioned her inside a, a moment ago. This time from three-point land around the rim and in. Good production off the bench for the Coyotes as they move out to a 30 to 18 halftime lead. And the halftime highlights brought to you by Novus Auto Glass. Novus Glass, their phone number 945-6688. Give them a call to set up your appointment to get your windshield repaired or replaced. We'll take another time out. This is the Next Home Experience Halftime Show on Ticket TV. What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Maine. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Maine is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Maine Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Maine has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Maine photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at Flash Me Maine. Com.
He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs, we make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Visit. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. I'm Phil Levesque, president of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to... Here we go, second half, set to get underway here at McKenzie Gym, 30 to 18. Old Town on top, and they'll have the basketball first. Thanks for being with us here on Ticket TV at 929theticket.com. If you don't have the Ticket app, be sure to get it. 2-3 zone here for Holton coming out of the half. Taylor Loring misses the three, she had two of them in the first half. Swallow, or probably Warman, back to number 15. Gabby Gentle, that is Swallow in the lane. Her shot blocked, but Holton able to come out of it with the basketball. Kenny tries to bounce it across the lane to Swallow. She'll eventually come up with it on the baseline. And we got a timeout called. And Shompy, just making sure everybody's okay on the floor, and now we'll reset things. And we have reset our scoreboard. We appreciate your patience. And I don't know what I did, Ernie. <laughs> it worked. Whatever I did, yeah. put his finger in the socket, and it yeah. made the connection. And we do and now have we've got somebody a player injured. down. It's Michaela Emerson. Took a shot around the mouth, checking checking for blood. I think she said, John, are my teeth all there? Yeah. <laughs> he said, I don't know. How many did you have? <laughs> and she is in some pain. Yeah. And the trainer's coming over. Coach Heather Richards trying to calm the situation there. We're under seven minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Magoon bounces it in the corner to Grass. They look inside Cody. She powers it up. No good, but right there, Sage Evans. First attempt, no good. Second attempt, blocked from behind. And Warman with it for Holton. Bounces it ahead. Gentle. Swallow. Skip pass. Good catch there by Gentle. Now she goes into the lane. Took an extra step. Yeah. And she'll be calling for the walk. 11th turnover for Holton. Uh... Old Town had seven in the first half. See the shot there by Gentle. And after the traveling violation, Old Town trying to get their offense going here in the second half. Nobody scored as of yet. Magoon can't change that. And a foul against Old Town after the miss. It's going to be against Gabby Cody, I believe. If it is, it's number three on her. First team foul. Or either team in the second half, but uh, three fouls on Cody, so she'll have to be careful not to pick up one quickly here. Otherwise, she'll be sitting for a while. So just to reflect on our scoreboard situation here is kick out goes to Gentle. Okay. Again, that bounce pass, good anticipation there by Holton. And in the aftermath, a foul against 
the Shires. Awful tight quarters here for that pass. You can Ooh. see her open just for a second, but there's a maze of legs in the way and came back to bite the Shire Towners. So I will not pat my back or pat myself on the back for my technical knowledge. Okay. You, are you but I calling will, it sheer luck? Is I will pat myself on the back for persistence. There you like go. I I don't give up. I, mean, I think in this I mean, case it paid off. Do you know what just happened so that it works again? Well, it's one of two things. It's one of two things, which people watching this game don't need to okay, well, know about. At least you had narrowed it down to two things. Right. Yep. So that's good effort. And experience is good. You know, sometimes uh, you well, can learn a lot from adversity. And Because I'm sure you had the assistance of one Alex Mooney as well to your right. Well, I mean, in fairness, Alex has another job to do. So okay. we let him do that. I was allowing you to throw a compliment his way. Uh, no, he's doing a good job in his other job. Okay. How about that? There we go. I and think Alex will take that. <laughs> missed attempt on the three there by Loring. Ball tipped out of bounds off of the Coyotes. Still stuck at 30 yeah. to 18. Three minutes into the, sec into the second half, and we still haven't seen a score yet. It's great if you like defense. Amelia Kalnan tried to... Get the scoop shot off, but that's tough to do with Sage Evans lurking. Speaking of defense. Holton looking for the first points here in this second half. Gentle will try a three. Doesn't get the bounce. Good hustle there by Kalnan as Loring had the inside position. I think they're going to say Kalnan as she was touching the basketball was leaning on Yeah, you can see her hand line. there. Yeah. You can see her hand out of bounds kind of holding her up. Oops. Yeah. Good view there. Camera on that right baseline manned by Trinity Floored. Still nobody scored in the second half. Kenny. Good take, draws the foul, so a chance here for Holton to get on the board at the free throw line. Yeah, she Good drove take. into traffic and nobody was established in terms of position, so foul goes against the defense. Just the first on Sage Evans, though. Spin, the dip, and can't get that one to drop. One is up, and it is good. There we go. First half in the second half. High School Basketball on Ticket TV brought to you by Firehouse Subs. Tonight's player of the game will receive a sub family four-pack to celebrate their performance in this Ticket TV game, courtesy of Firehouse Subs, 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor at firehousesubs.com. Player of the game, Firehouse Subs player of the game in game number one here today in the boys' contest went to Emmett Byther. 19 points, 13 boards for the big guy. Missed by Evans, and lowering the offensive rebound. By the way, Michaela Emerson is back in the game after being out briefly. Good news. Getting hit in the mouth. He was in some pain there for a moment, but she's okay now. Good inside position by Taylor Loring there. Pass into the grass. Brown thought about the shot. Emerson will take it, and she'll hit it. Kayla, no worse for the wear after that bump no. to the face there. Comes right back in and hits that three from the corner. First field goal of the second half. Lead is 14 for the Coyotes. Swallow. Drives, scoops, misses. Ball bounces into the hands of Danica Brown. Back to Loring. So the town gets their half-court offense set. Entry pass into Evans. Oh, nice cut. Dribbles it out and found the cutting Loring. And Taylor could not hit the layup. Good work there by Evans. Double team. She dribbled out of it and then got a good passing lane. And now she'll be rewarded at the other end with a lay-in. Count it. And Sage Evans is going to toe the line trying to make it a three-point play. Yeah, DeGrasse down to... Loring who could have gone in herself, but uh, passed ahead to Evans for the basket and the foul, and now we've got a timeout. And we will keep it right here. 
35 to 19. Our score here at McKenzie Gymnasium, 2.59 on the clock. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by County Physical Therapy. Experience, modern facilities, quality care, and results. The choice is clear. County Physical Therapy, 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor. Several scores here from uh, the region. In addition to ones we gave you earlier, girls' scores, Coney 53, Nakomas 52, Hamden Academy 60, Mesolonsky 27, Madanoncook Academy of Lincoln 60, Central 58, and Piscataquis of Guilford 39, Valley 35. On the boys' side, Hamden Academy 71, Mesolonsky 57, Lee Academy 73, Mattias 61, Nakomas 71, Coney 56, Orno in Class B North 69, MCI 39, Double A scores Portland 46, Shepherds 43, and Oxford Hill 74, and Massabesic 32. You are a scoreboard machine. Oh, it's great. This late afternoon on Saturday. Forget how many games are being played around the state. Weren't many, or if any, were played last night on right. Friday, so they're all being played today. Evans trying to complete the three point play. Too strong on that free throw. 16-point lead for the Coyotes. Calden at the other end has it knocked out of bounds. Yeah, and DeGrasse landed uncomfortably on her ankle. Right ankle's bothering her, and she's going to get a break and a substitution Ooh. here. Yeah. She's up, but uh, she's bad. Yeah, she doesn't want to put any weight on that right foot. Already wearing ankle Number 24. braces there, and the Coyotes will retreat to their sideline, and we will take a timeout with 2.53 on the clock, Old Town 35. Fulton 19. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Settling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. 2.53 left in the third. You see right there, Old Town on top in this one. Drew Warman putting it in play. This is Amelia Calnan for the Shires. Shot up by Swallow for two. That ends up in the hands of Sage Evans. Another rebound for her. Emerson steps into a three and rattles it in. Holton better take note. As I said earlier in the broadcast, she hit six threes in a row in a previous game here on Ticket TV, and she can take off. And two right there. Leave Holton in the rearview mirror if they're not careful. Already a 19-point contest. Old Town doubling up the Shires. Bounce pass again, trying to thread the needle with that bounce pass, and it gets tied up. Good job there by Taylor Loring to get the hand in on the basketball. Yeah, had to reach in behind her to yes, maintain possession. Like yes. <laughs> I know the ball's there somewhere. Norman having some difficulty getting it in. Finally into Kenny. Kalnan backs it out. Gentle goes to Kenny, her three, a little too hard, and the rebound for Emerson. Quick surge up the middle of the court. Ball trickles into the hands of Loring. Magoon, this is Cody, driving, goes to Sage Evans, jumper from the right side, no good from about 14 feet. Foreman, double dribble. Uh, Lost it, picked it up, and dribbled again. Pressure by Elizabeth Magoon certainly didn't help the situation.
Danica Brown. Oh, oh, no. There, but no. it got stuck on her hip. Spinorama. Not going to get that past John Shoppy. Let's watch this play again. Yeah, the basketball just got stuck One, on her two. hip there. Yeah. Holt needs a basket. They've only scored one point here in the second half. Here's Warman with a try. Doesn't get the bounce. Foul from behind. It's going to go against Brewer. Yeah, she knew it. She was running down court barely as the whistle was blown. Well, we talked before the game about how Old Town is allowing just 29.9 points per game. And while Holton may be ahead of that pace right at the moment, it's barely. Actually, they're probably not. Yes. Holton averaging seven points per period in this game as we wind down the final minute of the third quarter. Forty seconds left to go here in the third. Emerson, Lagoon, Old Town in no hurry with a big lead. They have outscored Holton eight to one in this third quarter with time winding down. You look at this possession. There were a couple of perimeter shots that Old Town could have taken. But understanding the situation where they are in no hurry, good job by them not to take those shots and look for something better here as we enter uh, the final 10. Shot is up and off, and it's going to go out of bounds. So oh. good hustle there Cody. by Gabby Cody. I think she knocked it off. Caitlin Kenny, and she gets a round of applause from the Old Town faithful. So one, more one more chance for the Coyotes at two and a half left. Oh, oh. wide-open Magoon on the oh. weak side, but couldn't quite come up with the basketball cleanly. It threw off her rhythm. Yeah, needed to put it to the floor just once and couldn't get it uh, quicker. Yeah. Some of the fans not happy with it, but that's a, that's a violation. All right, 38 to 19, low scoring third quarter, but the Coyotes in control as they look to go to 9 and 0 on the season. We'll take a timeout back with fourth quarter action. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-4324 or visit them online at countypt.com. You know, we can go into a room and have absolutely nothing in there, nothing on the windows, no color, no character, no tone to a room. That's, I think, where we're strongest is being able to help someone envision what's going to go in that window and we leave, it's totally transformed into something that the customer wants it to be. We've often been told we make a room look better just by leaving it. <laughs> Fourth quarter action, just getting underway. Taylor Loring with the basketball. She's joined on the court by Gabby Cody, Sage Evans, Elizabeth Magoon, and Michaela Emerson. Magoon's gonna try a two. It's a round and off. Caitlin Kenny with the rebound for the Shires. Only been nine points in this second half so far. Holton still looking for their first field goal of half number two. It was 30 to 18 at the end of the first half. And a turnover here for Holton. High School Basketball and Ticket TV brought to you by Chase's Restaurant and Hideaway Lounge where good food and great fun meet. Chase's Family Restaurant, 1575 Hammond Street in Bangor. Kayla Emerson. This is Cody. Now they look inside for Gabby Cody. Off glass, too hard, but she comes away with a loose basketball and straight up and down for two. And Old Town up to 40 points in this one. Warman backing in. 
Gets the ball back from Caitlin Kenny. Calman guarded by Emerson. Defense a key as usual for Ulta. Wow. Talk about a tough angle. That one grazed the side of the backboard and went down through for Swallow. Yeah, Emma Swallow. Off glass with no angle, but uh, she got it to go. It's a hard earned basket. Sophomore McGoon can't hit the shot and it will head out of bounds. And it's going to be holding basketball, high school basketball here on Ticket TV, brought to you by Tony Murray's Fairway Auto Sales. Your best bet for a quality pre owned vehicle is Fairway Auto Sales in Hancock, home of the complimentary six month, 6,000 mile major component coverage plan. Oh, good effort there by Gentle for Holton. Here's Cody oh, getting great position. <laughs> Nice seal there by Cody, and a beautiful pass by Sage Evans. Two work together very, very well. A launch by Gentle comes up short. Loring, head to Cody, full head of steam, and she'll get Nick for the foul. It's gonna be four on Cody with just under six minutes to play. Our broadcast today brought to you by Novus Glass. Call Novus Auto Glass today to get your windshield repaired or replaced. The number 945-6688 to set up your appointment. See the grass over there with ice on her right ankle up on the bench there from that third quarter injury. Coyotes doubling up on the Shires. Town High School looking for the sweep. The varsity games here today, and I guess in the JV games too. Yes. Gentle, slight hesitation, takes it and gets fouled. Our broadcast this afternoon, both broadcasts have been brought to you by the Fitch Company, where you'll find experience with electrical and control systems engineers, field technicians, designers, and drafters ready to meet varied engineering challenges or manage projects. Visit FitchCompany.com. Free throw, first attempt, no good there by Gentle. We're also brought to you by Bangor Floral for that special arrangement or gift for that special person. It's Bangor Floral, 332 Harlow Street in Bangor, and at bangorfloral.net. Bangor Floral, every bloom has a story. One for two at the line for Gabby Gentle. Evans can't get the shot off, and she will draw a foul after hustling after that loose basketball. It's going to be number five against Holton here in the second half. Sage Evans, combination of great athleticism and superior strength. Is she about 5'10", maybe? I believe so. Michaela Emerson with another long ball. Number three. Three for five from long range. For the junior. Warman for three. Can't hit it. Gentle. Offensive rebound. Shot no good there by Lily Brewer. Emerson deals it left to Evans. She can look over the defense. Finds Magoon on the weak side. Back out top. Loring for three. She hits. That's her third three, right? Yes, uh, no, she had two back-to-back -back in the second quarter, but her third for the game. Yep. Four twenty-five on the clock. Brewer scoops it out to Gentle, tries to split the defense on the way. Gentle will get fouled by Sage Evans. Our coverage of high school basketball and Ticket TV brought to you in part by the Coach House Restaurant for homestyle cooking and a friendly atmosphere. It's the Coach House, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, seven days a week, 457 Wilson Street in Brewer and at thecoachhouserestaurant.com. We're also brought to you by Stonington's Furniture. Discover the Stonington difference. You'll love coming home to Stonington's, 689 Wilson Street in Brewer and at stonington's.com. About halfway through this fourth quarter, Old Town in cruise mode. They had a tight one against Ellsworth here at McKenzie Gymnasium. Had to come back in that one. 
Unfortunately, Ernie, those two teams don't play again in the regular season. That's just very strange to me. I don't know I how know that it. happens there. How do you let it happen? Kind of rivals aren't that far apart. They play in the same league in the same class. But if they play again, it'll be All right. at the cross center. All lost out of bounds off of Holton. Looking for a simple way to earn some Chick-fil-A? Download the Chick-fil-A app and order your favorites ahead of time. Not only will you save time, but you'll earn points towards tasty rewards with every qualifying purchase. Download the Chick-fil-A app today or visit them at 605 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Here's a three up and no good. Haley Madden, a junior into the ball game for the Coyotes, also out there for Old Town, Isabella Dambois. Kayla Emerson, Sage Evans still out there, along with Taylor Loring. Holton's starting to go deeper into its bench now here with three minutes left, down 26. Damlin es Espenscheid is into the ball game for the Shires. As is Camille Kalnan again. She has the basketball here, driving baseline, puts on the brakes, gets it back to Brewer, lost control briefly, but... Gets it back. Calnan working the left side. Being hounded there by Taylor Loring. The defense for Old Town doesn't take any breaks. Not at all. I think they get a lot of pride in that. Offensive rebound. Brewer falls to the floor. Pushed it out to her teammate, Warman. There's been Espenscheid. Can't hit the long range shot. That goes out of bounds. Ticket, uh, basketball and Ticket TV brought to you by Tiller and Rye, a local grocer that focuses on providing quality foods raised the way nature intended. All locally sourced here in the state of Maine, Tiller and Rye, 20 South Main Street in Brewer and at tillerandrye.com. Here the ball game now for the Coyotes, Karina Dumond, she's just a freshman. And the ball lost there by Old Town. So it's Damboys, Dumond, Madden, Magoon, and who am I missing out there for? For uh, Old Town. The Coyotes. Ah. Oh, I got Madden. Oh, there's two Maddens out there. That's yes. why. There's Taylor Madden and there's Haley Madden. Taylor number two and Haley number 12. Get tied up in the Maddens. This is uh, Miley Sylvia, freshman guard for the Shires with the basketball. Steal here by Magoon. Got a step on the defender, puts it up with the left and gets it to go. Yeah, as Elizabeth Magoon has had a nice afternoon slash evening coming off the bench for the Coyotes today. That's been shied. Misses that three attempts. And Damboys rips it out of there. Isabella. This is Taylor Madden with a miss. Rebound to Holton and a foul against the Coyotes. Rebound to Tori Irvin. She's a freshman. Brewer girls 55, Mount Blue 22 a final. So that's win number three for Chad Labrie. And the three and five. Three and five, I think. Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll see the Witches girls coming up on Tuesday as they host Erskine. We'll get to our upcoming broadcast schedule here shortly. Another big week coming up next week. This is the capper on... This week of action, we only had seven games this week. We had nine last week. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> felt it? had some extra energy left. I feel like I used it all up. There he's sitting around twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> Nothing to do. No. We'll make up for it. No. As we were talking about in the boys game, uh, what would you say, just five weeks away from uh, Well, it's a month from Monday is the final, prelim? final day of regular season competition. Okay. February 9th. So, and it won't be, it would be probably the Tuesday and Wednesday after that um, where we get into the uh, prelims. Yep. Isabella Danboys bounces it to Magoon. A 
under 28 seconds. And Boyce along the baseline, tries to bounce it to Magoon, who's cutting down the lane. They don't connect at the other end. Espenshide goes up, contact, no whistle. Here comes Old Town. Seven seconds, Coyotes probably content just to dribble this one out. As Magoon holds the basketball while the buzzer sounds, and the Old Town Coyotes, impressive once again, as they score the win here against the Holton Shire Towners in this Class B North Big East battle. 50 to 22 is the final. We'll step aside. We'll be back with the Dean's Detailing Post Game Show. That's up next. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. You know, we can go into a room and have absolutely nothing in there, nothing on the windows, no color, no character, no tone to a room. That's, I think, where we're strongest is being able to help someone envision what's going to go in that window. And we leave, it's totally transformed into something that the customer wants it to be. We've often been told we make a room look better just by leaving it. <laughs> the day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. From the land to the sea, Chase's Family Restaurant is the place to be. Are you looking for a place to unwind after a long day? Then come check out our hideaway lounge. With a bar that's both upbeat and laid back. And it's the perfect atmosphere for anyone who wants to unwind after work. Or kick it up for the weekends with daily drink specials and a full dinner menu. You can fill up on a good time any night of the week. Thank you for being a part of our family. Here at Chase's Family Restaurant. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. I'm Phil Levesque, president of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top of the line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to Welcome back to Old Town High School. As we're going to get to the Dean's Detailing post game show here momentarily, but first, I want to remind you that high school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you by Crystal Clear Family Pet Center, the clear choice for all of your pet care needs. Crystal Clear Family Pet Center. Give them a call at 667 4111 or visit them at 33 High Street in Ellsworth. This is indeed the Dean's Detailing post game show. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV crew here at Old Town as uh, we have played two games here this afternoon. The uh, Old Town boys winning the first game. What was the final score in that one? 70 to 40. 74-42. 74-42, the win for the Coyote boys. They improved to 7-2. And, and in this one, the Holton Shire Towner girls with a 50-22 to 22 win, they improved to 9-0. And, oh, and now let's take a look at some of the highlights from this Coyote victory. Post-game highlights brought to you by Chase's Family Restaurant and Hideaway Lounge. There's a little battle for an offensive rebound by Holton. Long shot by Amelia Kalnan. Kalnan. No good, and uh, she gets her own rebound. Muscles it up through Danica Brown for the basket. Here's a fast break of Old Town. There's Taylor Loring, the freshman, made the extra pass to Sage Evans. Got like that. That's a Point guard mentality right there by Loring. There's uh, the defense from the Coyotes. I think that was Sage Evans on the block. There's Cody with a miss. There's Sage Evans battling for a rebound. Cody gets it back. The loose ball capitalizes for the basket. Inside move by Holton. Gets it to drop. That's uh, Swallow. Swallow, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now inside, nice pass to the post to Gabrielle Cody for the layup. Left-handed pass by Evans from the, uh, from the corner. Here is uh, Elizabeth Magoon with the pass to Michaela Emerson. Bang, one of her three threes on the afternoon. Her and Loring each with three threes. Another three that time by Loring. That's the six threes between the start members of the starting backcourt for the Coyotes. And here's the defense and uh, Magoon coming down. No, she has somebody on her back, but just keeps going straight to the hoop and finishes it off. Nice job coming off the bench by Elizabeth Magoon, a sophomore guard, and helping Old Town to the 50-22 to victory. Our coverage here on Ticket TV brought to you in part by Lebec Business Solutions. Whether it is office equipment or office furniture at work or at home, Lebec Business Solutions has the answers for your needs. Set up your free consultation by calling 942-2226. More of the, the Dean's detailing post-game show coming your way right after this time out on Ticket TV. When it comes to repairing or replacing your windshield, Novus is the clear choice in glass repair. Locally owned and operated at 499 Hammond Street, we offer free mobile service in the greater Bangor area, as well as shuttle service during bad weather. We can come to your home, workplace, or anywhere you are. Novus is a preferred service provider by all insurance companies, and we can cover up to $100 of your insurance deductible. Whether it's repairing or replacing your windshield, door glass, mirror, or your rear window glass, you can count on Novus to be where you are when you need us the most. Call Novus today. Fast, friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Maine. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Maine is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Maine Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Maine has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Maine photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at Flash Me Maine. Com. Nothing runs like a deer. Whether you have a lawn to mow, a driveway to plow, or a garden to till, our customers know you can't beat the quality and reliability of a John Deere. And right now at Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a great offer for you. Get 0% APR fixed rate financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor with a six-year powertrain warranty. For more offers, go to GreenwayEquipment.com. See the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth, and Bangor. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? When the forecast calls for nasty weather, all roads lead to down east. With Toyota's impressive lineup of 15 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, you're sure to find a model and payment that's right for you. Don't see it on our lot? Here's the latest update on models arriving soon. Pre-order yours now for the fastest delivery. When main roads get messy, all roads lead to down east. Your four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive headquarters on Wilson Street in Brewer. All right, welcome back to McKenzie here at Old Town High School. This is the Dean's Detailing post-game show. Some of the fans milling about here as we take a look at the scene through fan cam. Brought to you by Flash Me Main Photo Booth Rentals. Flash Me Main Photo Booth Rentals. They're all about fun. Check them out at flashmemain.com. All right, uh, let's uh, take a look at the t schedules for these uh, two squads here. What's upcoming for them? Yes, uh, Holton Shire Towners uh, rivalry game coming up on Tuesday at home against Presque Isle. Back-to-back, Aroostook -back, uh, County home tilts, if you will, for Holton as they host Central Aroostook of Mars Hill on Friday the 13th, 7 o'clock on both those starts for the Shires. And then it's uh, a third Straight home game as MDI comes up from Bar Harbor on Saturday the 14th at 5.30. And then Holton heads down, uh, back down this way to play at Bucksport on Tuesday the 16th. And then host, uh, and then visit, excuse me, Caribou Vikings on Thursday the 18th. As for the Coyotes, uh, they are home again on Tuesday to face the Herman Hawks. And then they are 
at the Cross Insurance Center in Bangor to face John Babs on Thursday the 12th. Saturday the 14th finds uh, Old Town hosting Presque Isle. Wednesday the 18th down to the island. Old Town travels to play the MDI Trojans in Bar Harbor. And then uh, Saturday the 21st, a non-conference game at Pittsfield against the MCI Huskies. High School Basketball on Ticket TV brought to you by Frank's Bake Shop. Family owned and operated since 1945. Check out Frank's Meals to Go. Convenient and delicious. Call 947-4594. That's Frank's Bake Shop, 199 State Street in Bangor and at franksbakery.com. We're also brought to you by Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store in Glenburn. Groceries, gas, and great food to go. Tossie's has it all. 1492 Push Road in Glenburn and at tossiescheckout.com. And Ernie, let's uh, get our game recap. You've got some numbers for us here? Sure do. Final score once again, Old Town 50 and Holton 22 leading the way for Old Town. And our uh, uh, Sage Evans, excuse me, junior forward, 14 points and 10 rebounds. Michaela Emerson, 11 points. Taylor Loring, 9. 7 for Elizabeth Magoon. 6 for Gabrielle Cody. And 3 for Lexi DeGrasse. For their total of 50 points, that includes seven threes, three apiece by Loring and Emerson, and one by Magoon. So seven three-pointers out of the Old Town backcourt. And then for the Holton Shire Towners, leading the way, Emma Swallow with six points, four apiece for Amelia Cal Calnan and Lily Brewer. Three for Caitlin Kenny, two apiece for Drew Warman and Damlin Espenscheid, and one point for Gabby Gentle. Total of 22, 22 points. Uh, that's under what Old Town had been allowing per game through the first eight contests of the season. They had allowed 29-9 uh, through the first eight. And today, just 22, including just four points after intermission. All right, thank you, Ernie. Game recap brought to you by Doors Equipment. And our coverage here today also brought to you by State Street Optics. Lease of State Street Optics has been providing the greater Bangor community with Vision Solutions for 38 years, State Street Optics, where vision meets style. All right, we'll step aside here one final time. We'll come back, look ahead to the Ticket TV broadcast schedule, and much more. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction, they provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. Creative Options, where it's all about choice. Postal Auto Parts proudly supports education for the skilled trades. These parents agree that allowing their children to explore trade opportunities at Hancock County Technical Center was a good move. With our son, we saw the most difference, almost like a light bulb being turned on. And my daughter, because of her experience here at HCTC, she knows what she wants to do. She's gotten to try it. I feel like that's going to set her up for success. Coastal Auto Parts, owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home, while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. 
Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. She's a true Mainer, not afraid to get her nails dirty and loves the great outdoors. Find the perfect gift for her at Miller's Workshop. Give her what she really wants. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. Welcome back to the Dean's Detailing post-game show. Jim Churchill along with Ernie Clark. Alex Moody directing our broadcast here today. We'll get to our whole team and give them credit here very shortly. Today's game brought to you by Comfort Shoes and More in Newport, featuring athletic casual dress and work shoes in many styles from the leading manufacturers. Comfort Shoes and More, 19 Moosehead Trail in Newport, and at comfortshoesandmore.com. And we're also brought to you by Bangle Window Shade and Drapery, offering custom blinds, shades, drapery, and outdoor awnings. Bangle Window Shade, 105 Main Street in Bangor. Let's take a look at our, uh, pardon me, a look at our play of the game first here from McKenzie in the second game of the day. One of our Greenway equipment replays. Yeah, just a well-run fast break. Let's see the grass to Taylor Loring. Extra pass made there to Sage, Sage Evans, who wound up drawing the foul in addition to making the layup. It was a shot, certainly, that Loring had an open lane to the basket, but in true po point guard form, decided to make that extra pass to get the assist and uh, set up for team's leading scorer for another hoop. All right, Ernie, time to announce our player of the game. Yeah, the player that finished that play of the game. Sage Evans gets the honors, 14 points. Pretty balanced attack by the by the uh, Coyotes, but 14 points, 10 rebounds, and just a succession of strong plays defensively whenever uh, Holton got the ball inside the paint in what you would think would be primary scoring er uh, area, and as a result, uh, played a big part in limiting the Shia Towners to just 22 points on the on the day. All right, congrats to Sage Evans, the Firehouse Subs player of the game for that effort. Firehouse Subs, 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor, and at firehousesubs.com. And Sage is making her way across the Coyote right now. Uh, I'll we'll get, her, get right. her that certificate here momentarily, but uh, another outstanding performance by her. She gets the Sub Family Four Pack to celebrate their performance in this Ticket TV game. All right, and a couple of other items here. Let's take a look at uh, the upcoming broadcast schedule here on Ticket TV. MDI at Orno, Twin Bill on Tuesday. Girls game at 5.30, and uh, the boys game at 7 p.m. from Orno High School. Also on Tuesday, Erskine at Brewer Girls. That game tips off at 6.30. And then on Thursday, doubleheader. This is a makeup game between Nicomas and Brewer for both girls and boys, 5.30 and 7. Tip-offs there. And Old Town will be at John Baps. That's a girls' matchup. We'll see uh, Sage Evans and company against the uh, Crusaders on Thursday as well. And then on Friday, we have a couple of Class AA North girls' games, Ernie. Wyndham at Bangor, one of them not shown on the screen. Chevres at Hamden in the other. Yes, and Bangor, Chevres, and Hamden are all in the top four or five in the division, so there'll be some playoff implications there. Weekdays on Sports Radio 92.9, the tickets. Here's the lineup, the local lineup. Weekdays, uh, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., it's the morning roast. And weekday afternoons, 4 to 6. Tune in to the drive to wrap up your day. And now let's take a look at the uh, lineup on Maine Sports Leader, 92.9, the tickets. Maine women, they were up against NJIT earlier today, and they yeah. picked up a victory. It was 69-63 for the Black Ooh. Bears, who are now 3-0, and oh, and America East play. And uh, Raiders and Chiefs happening right now on the tickets. And Titans and Jaguars coming up at 8 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, Maine men's basketball. That is actually a home game for the Black Bears there. They'll be hosting NJIT at the pit on the UMaine campus pregame show at 1.30. Cardinals and 49ers follow that. And Bruins and Ducks that is an 8 p.m. start time in that ball game. And then on Monday night, it all comes to a conclusion for college football in the college football playoff championship game between Georgia and TCU. I think it was a 12 or 14 point. 12 and a half 12 was and the last half. I saw. I went with TCU. 
I went with Georgia. Did you? I just figured the SEC is about as close as you get to the NFL, so yeah. uh, we go that way, although Alex Mooney over there is poo-pooing my selection, oh. giving the points. So-so selection. Defending champion, Georgia, by the way. Maine women's basketball back on the ticket uh, next Wednesday, the 11th, as they travel to UNH, take on the Wildcats in that border battle. And now to round out our program here, we'll give credit to our great team, Alex Mooney uh, on uh, scoreboard, graphics, technical supervisor. Well, wait a minute. I want some credit for the tech. Look at that. I, I guess we know who did the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, the great trio on cameras today, Trinity Plord, Ethan Tebolt, and Laney Cohen. Ernie Clark, you have a safe trip home, and uh, Thanks, sir. we'll see you coming up next week. We will. And there's your final score. Old Town 50, Holton 22. Old Town now 9-0 and in Class B North girls and also leading the way in the Big East Conference as well. Jim Churchill saying good night from Old Town High School. This has been High School Basketball on Ticket TV and the Big East Network. High School Basketball on Ticket TV has been presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment, Brewer Redemption Center, and Pine Tree Solar. High School Basketball on Ticket TV also brought to you by Next Home Experience, Northeast Driving School, Dean's Detailing, Levesque Business Solutions, Bangor Window Shade, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Novus Glass, Firehouse Subs, County Physical Therapy, Flash Me Main Photo Booths, Chase's Family Restaurant, Fairway Auto Sales, Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store, Comfort Shoes and more. Frank's Bake Shop, The Fitch Company, State Street Optics, Bangor Floral, and The Coach House Restaurant. High School Sports on Ticket TV also brought to you by Coastal Auto Parts, Hammond Lumber, Bangor Federal Credit Union, Creative Options, First National Bank, Midcoast Denture Design, and Miller's Workshop. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is a production of 92.9 The Ticket and Sportsnet Maine.